I'd like to welcome you on this journey reading Emanuel Swedenborg's book, Heaven and Hell. Many people encountering Swedenborg's work for the first time begin here with his most well-known book. It certainly captures the popular imagination as illustrated by the recent Netflix movie, Things Heard and Seen. But as you open the book, there may be ideas you find difficult to understand. And that's what this podcast is all about setting Swedenborg in context and helping you understand what he is saying. Feel free to read along with us. You'll find the accompanying video and audio in the same place as these notes, or you're welcome to read ahead and post questions for us to answer. So let's dive in. It's important to appreciate Swedenborg's heritage as he writes this book. Swedenborg was born in 1688 and died in 1772. He was the son of a Swedish bishop of the Lutheran Church, Jesper Swedberg, and he's therefore steeped in a thoroughly Christian heritage. But it's worth understanding from the outset that much of his commentary upon the Christianity of his day is highly critical. Still, we have to begin there to understand what he writes, and you'll notice him writing for a Christian audience. So in this preface he talks about the Bible, which he frequently refers to as the Word. Now in Swedenborg's understanding there's a deeper meaning to the Bible. And where he talks about the sense of the letter, by that he means that which is obvious to the reader without any sense of something deeper. Now Swedenborg's deeper understanding of the Bible can be appreciated by grasping what he calls the science of correspondences. That is where physical objects or events, speech or people can be understood as referring to or representing spiritual realities. So a simple understanding in everyday use is sight. We often say, I see, when we actually mean, I understand. Now much of that is set out in great detail in his first published spiritual work that was called Arcana Celestia and it translates from the Latin as Heavenly Secrets. In English it runs to about 12 volumes and it contains a word-by-word exposition of the spiritual meaning Swedenborg finds in the first two books of the Bible, Genesis and Exodus. So then in this preface, he jumps right in with a concept that's held by many fundamentalist Christians even today, and Swedenborg calls it the consummation of the age. And by this, he means the end of the world or the second coming of Jesus Christ. Now, you might pick up that his ideas are not as dramatic as some of those mainstream Christian beliefs, such as the physical return of Jesus Christ or dead people being raised from the graves. As he writes towards the end of his preface, the end of the church is where there is no longer any love and consequently no faith. And at that time, the Lord will open the word in its internal sense and reveal arcana, or secrets, of heaven. And he finishes his preface with the sentence, such immediate revelation is now made because that is what is meant by the coming of the Lord. So for Swedenborg, when we die, we're not lying asleep waiting until the time of the return of Jesus Christ to experience new life. For Swedenborg, life after death begins immediately after death. Swedenborg's work has been highly influential in many ways and we'll reflect some of those ways in this podcast. Some of the movies that have been inspired by his work include ones like the 1998 film starring Robin Williams called What Dreams May Come. That's inspired by the novel by Richard Matheson and we'll mention him again in later episodes. Another movie that comes directly from Swedenborg's work is called Bardo Blues. It was uh, published in 2017, written by Marsha Kimpton. Uh, A friend of mine has suggested another movie, a Brazilian one this time, from 2010, entitled Nosso La, or Astral City, A Spiritual Journey, might also have some influence from Swedenborg's work. 
And we know that Charles Dickens had a copy of Heaven and Hell at the time when he wrote his very famous novel, A Christmas Carol. As I said, I welcome you to read ahead if you'd like or read along with us uh, as we make our way through Heaven and Hell. Feel free to pose any questions you might have about the text, um, especially where you find it difficult to understand, and we'll do our very best to answer them. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey.